Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a video going over the talents and PvP talents that I will be using as soon as the expansion drops. Blizzard just released that they are done doing the talents and making adjustments and they're going to focus primarily on adjusting, you know, certain spells, doing damage and stuff like that. So this seems like this is the final version of the Mistweaver talents and before we get any further, I just want to say there will be a PvE video as well. I haven't had time for much PvE, unfortunately, but I have been testing the talent, so I'll do a PvE version of this video in a few days. So with that said, let's jump right into the PvP talents. So one thing I want to note before we jump into the Monk and the Mistweaver talents is that Mistweaver got two, three new PvP talents. Yes, we got Alpha Tiger. This is actually a Windwalker legendary right now in Shadowlands. What it does is when you attack a new person with your Tiger Palm, you gain 20% haste for eight seconds. You cannot use it on the same target for three seconds. So, uh, or for 30 seconds, there's a 30 second internal cooldown, I'm pretty sure. So right here, uh, I'm just gonna Tiger Palm here. And you can see I gained 20% haste with Alpha Tiger. So you get 20% haste, 30 second internal cooldown. Um, the second one is the Mighty Ox Kick, which I showed in a video. It was a short little video I just found out. Basically, you just kick somebody and they go flying behind you. Wait, look. Probably not going to be that useful in Arena. I mean, it could be a kick. It also could be a knock in Arucci's, but I don't think it's going to be that useful. And then the last one, every single caster got this. Every healer, every caster. When you juke a kick, you gain 15% haste and become immune to crowd control and interrupt effects for four seconds. So this is really good because... Right now, you juke a kick, you juke a feral druid, and then you get maimed because you juked them, or you get in, uh, you know in cap roar into cyclone. They can't do that after you juke them, which is awesome. So really, really good, especially if you feel like you're gonna get trained. It's actually really, really nice. Um, so those are the PvP talents. Nothing else has changed. Now, the Monk Talents changed a little bit since the first iteration, and I'll try to explain them as they go. I actually kind of forget some of the uh, the lines that go from ability to ability, but I'll do my best to explain it. Um, so I think uh, Soothing Mist is still kind of bugged. It's ranked 2 out of 1. Don't know. It's I, it's kind of weird. I think you're going to go Rising Sun Kick and Tigers are straight up the rip. Disable I found to be pretty useful, especially since you can increase its duration if you melee somebody so if you use disable on somebody and then you use like rising sun kick it refreshes the duration it's a 50 percent slow which is really good um obviously you want in cap obviously you want improved in cap which reduces the cooldown by 15 seconds so now it's a 30 second cooldown paralysis um back up top it reduces all damage by three percent just really good uh obviously you want to be able to dispel poisons and disease effects maybe there's situations where you don't want that but i think for the most part you want it um increase all damage up by two percent maybe um this one right here improve vivify really good increase the healing vivify by 40 percent this is your main heal so i would go for it you want extra roll uh extra charge of roll so you're gonna go improved roll uh vigorous expulsion um, i'm a big fan of expel harm I truly am. So I'm going to go with this. I really think it's a really good spell. I use it off cooldown in retail right now uh, in Shadowlands. So I'm, I'm a fan of that. Um, and that, let's see, for this row, Tiger Tail Sweep, I think, might actually be decent. The increased range is really nice. And the cooldown reduction is good because right now, people, what they can do is they can actually play Adaptation. Um, if you don't, your team doesn't have a lot of cooldowns and they just get your leg sweep every time, which kind of sucks. Um, so the next row increases our healing take by 4%. I'm thinking about this one. I'll have to come back. I'll see how many points I've left. The instant vivify, not a fan, not good. It actually gets uh, consumed when you use vivify with soothing mist, so it's not good. All damage dealt, not really, I don't think. Uh, fortifying brew we need. I'm going to go spearhand strikes. I think cook, uh, kick is really good. Transcendence obviously is just insane. Um... Reduces all damage taken while channeling students by 3, 6%. I think that's really good in PvP. Um, that way, even if you're not the one taking direct damage, let's just say there's dots in you, it's just 6% less damage, which is nice. Uh, in the next row, so I was actually, I'm actually kind of torn. I'm actually kind of torn on what to go here. Do I go for a shorter Fort Brew or one that's just way better? Because right now we have uh, Diffuse Magic, Dampen Harm, Healing Elixirs. I, I think... I think we just go for the short cooldown. I think it's just better, uh, especially with dampening. Uh, obviously, I think Chi Torpedo is really good as well. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Chi Torpedo. Um, I'm going to skip over Fast Feet. Obviously, we want Ring of Peace. Um, hasty Provocation. 
uh, this is only going to be used for hunters. So if you're not queuing into a hunter, you can make a completely different build. I'm trying to think of one point you could like go into and take away. At the end, I'll try to see if there's a one point where we can put provoke. But yeah, if you're not queuing into a hunter, don't take this. I don't. Chi wave was pretty good for getting mystic touch up. I'm going to go Chi Wave and see if I have this any extra points. Uh, for this row, Profound Rebuttal. Expel Harm's Crit Healing is increased by 50%. I think that's good. And then obviously, we want Diffuse Magic Dampen Harm. Strength. Uh, this is Touch Death, which is just your normal, like someone dies at 15% health. And then Strength of Spirit. So this is what makes your Expel Harm Healing increase by 200%, up to 200% based on missing health. So this could be a huge heal if someone's low. Uh, in the next row, I think you're going to skip over Eye of the Tiger as well. We have four points left. I don't think you're going you're to go close to heart. I don't even think Leech matters in PvP that much. Um, you're going to go Escape from Reality. Oh, we're out of points right now, actually. So let me see. Let me take away Chi Wave, and let's go straight here. So I think this is kind of what we're going to be running. I don't think Chi... I guess Chi Wave is out, which is kind of unfortunate. It's really good they added this right here, this connection, so that you didn't need to take Chi Wave, which is really nice. Really, really nice. But I think you really want Shade Storm and Statue because the healing is decent. The Save them all, which just killed me. Something just killed me. <laughs> um, save them all. Uh, when, you're he when you're healing spells, heal an ally whose health is below 35% health. You gain 20% healing for the next 4 seconds, which is crazy. This is going to be really good in RBGs if like Warlocks are meta. Obviously, they probably will be. And even good in Arena if you get low. It's just going to be so good. And I think that's going to be it for the Monk side for the PvP talents. I don't think there's really much wiggle room. You could technically, if you wanted to, you could probably go one Tiger Tail Sweep. And maybe go like, no, because you need two to go here. You could technically drop this whole thing. If you want to increase all healing taken, you could drop. You could either go increase healing taken or reduce damage taken. So pick one. And then you can go with Chi Wave and go here, which is an option. So I think the, the wiggle room comes with like this left side of this tree. I don't think there's much wiggle room on this right side. Now for the Mistweaver side of the talent tree, obviously you don't have a choice. You go uh, enveloping mist. You have to go essence font, which really sucks. And then you're going to get life cocoon. And that's kind of where it kind of ends right there. It's going to get the life cocoon. You're obviously going to go thunder focus the bread and butter for Mistweaver in general. And then you're going to want to go. You, you need renewing mist again. Very, very important. And you're going to go invigorating mist because this just makes it so your vivify heals everybody that has the renewing mist. It's that cleave heal that we have. And then you're going to want Mash of Mist, which gives Renewing Mist two charges of Renewing Mist, which is, again, very, very important. Uh, I'm just going to go Revival. I think there is room for Restoral to be a thing, but for right now, I'm just going to go with Revival. Uh, and then next tier, Mist of Life is really good. This is, like, really, really good. This is what gives you Envelop Mist and Renewing Mist when you use Life Cocoon on somebody. And then you're going to go... I think Uplift is Spirit's good because Vivify Crits and Rise of Sound keep on Revival... This is going to be good for RBGs. I don't know if I have the points to not take it, though. Let me take Healing Elixir, and let me go for my Life Cycles. And then Overflowing Mist. I would be surprised if this wasn't nerfed. I, I really would be. But obviously, go Overflowing Mist. And then you're going to want Mist Wrap. Again, that's what increases your Enveloping Mist and give you the bonus healing. And I guess, yeah, we need what? We need six more points, so... Nourishing Chi, again, this was a conduit right now. After you use Life Cocoon, you get the healing bonus for 10 seconds. I'm pretty sure it's 6 seconds on live right now, so it's really, really good. And then go Calming Coalescence, which is what makes your, gives you stacks. Gives you a buff every time your Soothing Mist heals. It increases the healing of your Life Cocoon. Stacks up to 50 times. It's so good. So, so good. I don't think people are actually going to be able to kill through Life Cocoon. Especially if you're running Chrysalis on a minute 15 cooldown, your Life Cocoon is going to be crazy healing. So... Definitely go common coalescence, which is nice, but we do need four points. So we're gonna have to take some points somewhere. Oh, 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 yeah. We need uh we're gonna go uplifted spirits here. And then we're gonna go for Yulon, and then we're gonna go enveloping breath. So what this does is this is Yulon, and it's the same Yulon, except enveloping mist cost is reduced by 33% when Yulon is active. And then this next one is while it's active, the enveloping breath is gonna heal people. So you have an, another AOE heal, which is really good. And we have one more point. So we're going to go with, I guess, Yulon's Whisper. I don't want to take Zen Sphere. It breaks CC. I think it's too much. I'm um, not really a, that much of a fan of it. Um, I'm also not a fan of this RNG. especially This might be good for RBGs, but I think for random, I'm just going to go Yulon's Whisper. And then from here, I like Gift of the Celestials because it gives you a one-minute cooldown with a bunch of mana reduction for, for Enveloping Mist. 
because this reduces the cooldown of Yulon by two minutes and reduces the duration of it, but still a good like, little manatee going on. And then you need Cloud of Focus, so Cloud of Focus is just mandatory. They moved Resplendent Mist as well, so Gust of Mist has a 30% chance to do 100% more healing. Crazy. Crazy good. And then I think you're going to want to go... Again, I'm be surprised if this doesn't get nerfed. But Mending Proliferation. Each time Velvet Mist heals, its healing bonus has a 50% chance to spread to an injured ally within 30 yards. Crazy good. And Velvet Mist bonus healing right now is... When it's on somebody, uh, it increases the healing received from your other spells by 30%. So essentially... You could have multiple teammates with 30% extra healing, which is crazy good. It, it's insane. Um, and then the, most of the changes now are kind of... I think you kind of have five points of wiggle room here. And I think it's mostly going to be in the, in the right-hand side here. Now, you could go Secret Infusion. It's not as good as what it was in, in BFA. So, I, I kind of, like... I thought it'd be good, but it's really not. Uh, Renewing Mist Heal over time effects has a 5% chance to proc and Velvet Mist. I think that's okay. It's just I don't like the RNG. So I think I'm kind of leaning towards obviously Focus Thunder for two Thunder Focus charges. And then Peaceful Mending is good. And then you get the Tier of Mourning and you get Bonus Brew. And I think this is what you're going to be playing. Now there is one spot of Wiggle Room that you can do. And this might be what I'll be leaning towards. Um, and that is what I uh, drop. Oh. Okay, uh, what I might do, depending on how good Bone Brew is, right now Bone Brew is a little bit, just a tiny bit lackluster. What I'll do is I'll drop Bone Brew and go T of Serenity. So this is these are new talent, these are new spells. Uh, what what these two talents do? They're a little bit, they're similar but a little bit different. T of Serenity makes it so when you use Thunder Focus T, you get one free Renewing Mist, Envelop Mist, or Vivify at random. So essentially, you get three charges of Thunder Focus T. And where one of them is random. Now, and this is the best one for Arena. T of Plenty is the same exact thing, but it could proc Essence Fought and Rising Sun Kick. So, mostly geared towards PvE for T of Plenty. I think for PvP, T of Serenity is better. So, I think the last point is really up to you. If you find value in Bone Dust Brew, I would say go for it. It kind of depends. I think if you take Bone Dust Brew, you need to get the... I think you need to get Attenuation to go with it so you need two points here as opposed to you get an extra, an extra charge of thunder focus t it's up to you i i'm kind of leaning towards t of serenity unless there's one point i guess technically you could drop gift you could drop gift of celestials and go here oh and drop t of uh t of serenity and go here which is fine i th i think they're both good i think this is again i don't really like rng but i also kind of like the mana reduction from gifts celestial so overall i think it depends what you're gonna be into i think if you're queuing into single target teams uh this might be better but i think overall i think that if you get rid of these get rid of these and you go here and you take this this is gonna be better so this is gonna be my build going into dragonflight for pvp if you see something that you might be using, like let me know. I would be more than happy to answer any questions or I would love to see your build. You could easily, I think you could just share now. You could share and I'll put this build in the description. I can't apply these changes because I'm dead. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to see other videos like this, let me know. I'm going to do a PVE version and then hopefully I get some solo shuffle games going soon. So that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.